So I want to talk about insights. Insights are probably, as far as I'm concerned, the crack cocaine of the, uh, the creative problem solving and design thinking space. And they are absolutely core to the way that you frame the problem and they determine the quality of your ideas. In fact, I'd go so far as to say no insight, no idea. And yet they're really hard to come by and most people don't really know what they look like or wouldn't know them if they fell over them. So let's have a quick chat about what to look for if you're hunting for an insight. Um, first of all, they are not an explanation. So an explanation leaves you inside the space that you already know and it changes nothing. An explanation has no energy. It may be true, but it's not useful. And I'll give you an example in a minute. Um, an insight, by contrast, it opens up the space and it forces you to or allows you to see the whole problem space differently. It takes you out of what you know and into a new understanding. So uh, an insight needs to, to be a good insight. It needs to be new. It needs to be surprising. Uh, it's got to be valid. Uh, it might have some tension in it. And it's the thing, it's, it's like a visceral thing. It's, it's the aha moment that you get when all of the sudden all of the bits of information that you've been looking at slot into place in a new pattern and you go oh now I see it and you can see the whole thing or understand that whole space differently so as an example uh, you might have something like um, uh, company A uh, needs to sell 500 units in order to meet because they need to meet shareholder expectations so that would be an explanation. It's perfectly valid. They need to sell 500 units, meet shareholder expectations. Absolutely fine. No insight. It's an explanation. There's no energy around it. So an insight might be something like um, company A needs to sell 500 units in order to meet ex uh, shareholder expectations. However, the only way of them doing this in time is to offshore production and they have built their company on a support local platform. So all of a sudden you can see, oh, well, you can see their choices aren't there. That's an insight you can dig deeper. Um, so when you're looking for an insight, what do you look for? You look for patterns. Uh, in all the information that you have, you look for paradoxes. Paradoxes in particular are a ripe source of insight. Um, contradictions, for example, people saying one thing but doing something else. Uh, tension, uh, surprises, and, and hidden motivations. Not straightforward ones, but things that might be surprising even to the company or person involved. And with all of them, you're looking for something that when you've got it, you kind of go, oh, that's interesting. And it allows you to open up the problem space and expand your understanding. So um, without an insight, the problem framing is meh and your ideas are going to be pretty bland. Uh, and in fact, as I said before, no insight, no idea. For more updates and free resources from me on design thinking or creative problem solving and wicked problems, sign up to my newsletter at uh, mofox.com or follow me on LinkedIn. And um, look forward to seeing you soon.